Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener beauty, skincare, and more. Today I am back with a different kind of video. I am doing some spring slash summer slash self-quarantine cleaning. So yeah, that's what's happening. I'm gonna show you what I'm cleaning out from my stash. While I do that, I'll tell you which ones I'm cleaning out that I have loved and which ones I'm cleaning out that I really never used because I didn't like them so much. So if you wanna hear more about that, stick around and let's get into it. All right, so first things first, sometimes I look at my situation here with all the makeup and I get really overwhelmed by it. I'm not gonna to lie to you. But when I do look at it and feel incredibly materialistic and potentially wasteful, which I do, I think about it this way. This is how I comfort myself. You are using these to help people make better decisions so they're not going to buy things that might not work for them and that would create more waste. So in a way, potentially, I'm saving more waste from happening. I don't know, I'm conflicted. I'm dealing with it and a part of that is how to get rid of this product in an environmentally friendly manner. I lean heavily on Credo for that. Because stores are closed right now, I lean heavily on TerraCycle. I'll probably document the packing process in case you wanna look at that on Instagram, at the Style Shaker. Without further ado, I'm gonna walk through the products that are going out the door this time around. It starts with the Honest Beauty Foundation, which looks so weird. This was just, this was just, this is just, just a no-no. Might actually keep it for the compact because it's a nice compact actually. It's pretty big. Now that I've just said I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff. Look at that. There's a sponge. I had no idea. No idea. I just never even looked at it. Maybe I'll disassemble this and use this. I try to repurpose, but we'll see. Most likely getting rid of it. It just didn't apply very well on my face. Wasn't a huge fan of all the ingredients. I have Honest Beauty stuff that I love way more than that. Search the channel if you wanna find out what that is. The next thing I'm getting rid of, I was gifted and I felt kinda of bad about it, but it's this Palmist Hydration Spray from Jane Iredale. It is such a strong scent. It is such a strong scent. I just haven't been able to use it. It is very fruity pomegranate and I'm not gonna need it and I'm not gonna use it and it's gonna go and get recycled it's aluminum so that's a little bit better than plastic I don't rely a lot on mists and sprays especially now that I've changed my skincare I feel like it's balancing itself out plus it's so warm and I know it's probably refreshing it's just never been a way for me to hydrate I don't know it's just a personal thing do you use sprays if so what are your favorites do share the next is from Kula it is SPF 50 this is a no-no because of the ingredients I put this in one of my videos and just got slammed because of it because I didn't look at the ingredients closely enough and they had some yeah they octinoxate it's a deal breaker for me now it wasn't but now it is I reserve the right to change my mind as I learn I change this is what happens it's about progress not perfection next up well people's biotint SPF 30 I'm not getting rid of this because I didn't love it I'm getting rid of it because I started getting so much product that I didn't get to this fast enough and it's feels very, very wasteful. I get it. I don't like that. It's the truth, okay? So I didn't use this in time. I'm really bummed out about it. I do actually really like this. I have this in the color light. I may repurchase it down the road when I have more time to use it. I don't want to buy it and then not use it again. Got to get rid of it. I would say it's probably down to here though. I use quite a bit, just not all of it. It wasn't a part of the pan project, if that makes sense. Not bashing this one, just can't use it anymore because it smells real weird. Another one that I have loved, it is so well loved, it is the Honest Beauty Mascara. I feel like I've been talking about this more and more, but it's got, yeah, it's pretty much on its last leg. It's on its last leg, and you can kind of tell with the primer. That's the other thing about these, they tell you on here with a little symbol how long they last or they'll put it on the box. But once you lose that, do, are people putting labels like you would on food in the freezer and just be like, bought on? I've considered doing that. Those little label makers. I love, I love label makers back when I used paper. So this is a great product. I still love it. It's just, it's expired. Next, from Gressa. This is the Nourish Night Repair Elixir. I actually love Gressa. I just, it doesn't love me back or my skin. I don't know why. This was nice. It was nice. It was like a nice to have. I didn't see massive results on my skin. I used a ton of it. I just, there's probably still some in here. 
and it's turned on me. I am not gonna send this to TerraCycle. I will use this. This is a nice dark indigo blue container. I will use this for some Ayurvedic skincare that I whip up magically. So that's an upcycle or like that's a repurpose for me. And then I have the Woodlot Nourishing Facial Oil. Oh, I I went through this so fast. I got this at first and I was like, what, what, what am I gonna do with this? It has become such a great thing to have. I have so many other facial oils that I'm using right now. One in particular, by the way, sneak peek, Lolly. I'm really liking it. I haven't been using other skincare, so I haven't been using that because I've been working on the Vedic side of things. Before all of that, my daily gua sha, I was using this wonderful company, Canadian based, just no Woodlot, they're cool. Not getting rid of this because I didn't love it. Look, down to the last drop, there's nothing in there. I might upcycle this one too, I don't know. Don't judge me. So I have this aloe brow gel. It's brown because it was, it's gross. I know, I know, I know. You can just get clear mascara too, I know that, but this stuff actually holds my brows in place like nothing else. I feel like I should get a new one. Any germaphobes out there are probably gonna just freak out at that. So I'm just gonna get a replenishment. I love it. I use it all the time, all the time. I haven't found a brow gel that I like more than that. I've tried milk, I've tried well people, I think. Or no, it was 100% pure. I've tried a couple of different brow gels, not a ton. They really didn't do anything. And so I used to use mascara. Um, a clear mascara I haven't found a ton of that's clean -er. Uh And then I just love this stuff, it's really good. I like Air Perez. I really do. I'm like really slowly getting into Air Perez. I've tried a handful of their products. Most of them I've liked. Oil cleanser from Kahina. I don't need it because I have like so many oils to work with right now, but this was great. I got this as a sample in a petty board box. I wish everything had samples. If God, if listen, let's just take a minute here. I want to tell you guys what my dream is and why I want this channel to grow exponentially. I have a very specific goal in mind and I need, I need, I don't know what I need. Maybe I need a manufacturing partner for this, but I really want to live in a world where there are samples and beauty samples for everything and, and refills for everything. We need that world to happen. Maybe people are working on it. If you guys know people that are working on it, hook a sister up because I need to talk to people. So I went on a huge tangent, but Kahina Giving Beauty, one of my favorite brands, their argan oil, I loved. I have the review on this site. I saw a very large difference in my redness. Check it out. All right, next, my shell sun protection. I got, wow, the ring light's blowing this one out, but I re-upped this sucker because it's a favorite. As you know, God, like, when do I have a video? I should just represent my shell at this point. SPF 50 Sun Shield, one of my fave, fave, fave. This is the old packaging. It's done. Oh, it's not actually expired yet, but I've used it all. Thank you for writing the expiration date on the bottle, my shell. Thank you. It solves my problem that I just talked about. That's, let's add that to that list that I just talked about too. You know, the one where there's like samples, refills, and every product has an expiration date written on it somehow. The refills are gonna be tricky. This is why I need a group of people. All right, uh, the next. These are the little ones now. So Sephora's brow pencil. Listen, I think these are great. The other ones that I've tried that I've liked are really ridiculously expensive, but I like them because of the color matching. If I could find a color match for less, I would. Although now I'm really liking the plume brow pencils, which I know a lot of you panned, but you do go through them quicker, but you get two refills so I like that you can just put them back in there so it's more sustainable. I feel like the refills are very fairly priced. Well, I'm not mad at them. That's the direction I'm gonna go in a bit more going forward. And I've been using my plume serum still, I'm not done with it, and I've been using castor oil and my brows are really, really happy right now. I don't need this, I'm gonna recycle this. And I didn't really love the color, rich chestnut. It wasn't my, wasn't my favorite um, color. Speaking of ridiculously expensive, but color match was on point, I have Horace. This was the brow pencil. This was the brow pencil. I, I still have like a, a a magnetism towards it. Like I just, I love it. I just don't like how fast I would go through this. It was really fast, really fast. And it's not cheap. It's empty, but time to recycle. Another pencil I have is from Flower Beauty. This was given to me. This is Drew Barrymore's line on Walmart. Um, it's blue, broken off a little bit. I also don't really think this is clean at all. This is just something that wound up in my collection. No offense, Drew Barrymore, love you. I just, this, I'm not using it anymore. It was navy. I've been using an Ilia one ever since. That's the first round. This is 
just the tip of the iceberg, you guys. So much more cleaning. I am big into overhauls and cleaning. I don't like clutter. I actually, previous life, used to run a closet consultation business. I would be brought in and just purge, except I wasn't condo, you know? I wasn't holding things and wondering what was spark joy. I was the opposite of that. I was like, mm, we can do better. <laughs> so it was a very different approach. Anyway, I say that because I like getting rid of this stuff. I don't like wasting it but I do like figuring out ways to use it. Do go back to this message to myself and maybe to you that I'm not doing this to just accumulate stuff and show you my shelfies. Just know that sometimes I see these products and I ask myself the same thing that a lot of you might be asking. Like, God, why did you have all this product? It's because of this channel. I test it for you. So hopefully you know how to make better purchasing decisions and in effect, we don't have as much waste. Although I really need to get that board of whoever to sit at a table and we need to talk about refills and we need to talk about more samples and we need to talk about expiration dates. I don't know, I'm feeling very into it and passionate. As you can tell, I'm moving a lot. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. And I'm gonna go TerraCycle all this and document it on Instagram because that is my life now. You're welcome.